Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm back with another topic. And as I said before, I don't got no personal gain in this. This is completely just to keep somebody else from going down the road path that I took, you know, and going through this horrible experience in the feds, you know. I know it's a lot of myths about fed time and better than state which is completely wrong. It's worse. I wish I could have went to state, you know, uh, the food better, this and that. All that is myth, man. It's not but pain and misery in there. Pain and misery. So, not to get off topic, but I'm going to start with this and let you know that my first experience when I first got off the bus to go to a U.S. Penitentiary. It was like 40 of us. And as soon as we got off the bus, the warden will tell you, hey, uh, he told, go that way. He did tell, go this way. So, probably, I'd say three to four maybe went the way I went. They did tell. And people that told, or probably had, Severe crimes like pedophile or rape. It's a good thing they probably didn't go. You know what I mean? So you save yourself a bunch of hardship, you know, going in there. And so, make a long story short, when I first went in, I went in E2 dorm, which is the blue side of Hades and Penitentiary. And when I first went in, dude named L from DC, I say, yeah. Step to me. It's like I fight everybody in the dorm first. I'm like, damn. You know? You know, I make I make money, I'm coming here to do my time or whatever, but that's just the politics in the feds, you know. People want to show who they are. And you just have to go with the flow. So I'm like, alright. So really what I'm basically saying is that puts you in a certain category of whether you're gonna be just a chump get sexually molested or friendly extortion. All that plays part in your first initial um, appearance or going in. So it's just so once you fight you cool basically, you know what I mean? So and when you go in there, you know, you got like thirty days to get your paperwork and it's my shot caller told me uh, one of them days gone, so now it's 29 days. So then they'll try to come offer you stuff, packs, soap, clothes, all the utensils, food you'll need. If you're told, do not take that pack. Do not take it. Severe consequences with that. Get stabbed. Once your paperwork come back and you're not who you said you was, you, you're going to pay the price. So anybody listening, you know, you think you're ready for this, it's going to show you what you made of. It's going to definitely show you what you made of. <clears throat> and then you go into uh, your cell, say you with a person from another state. They're going to off the rip tell you, hey, your home is over there, so you only got a few days to be here. So... It's just so much you deal with, you know. Imagine you trying to go somewhere and chill, and then they tell you you got to go with your home until you ain't allowed again. So then you got to go through the process of trying to either buy a cell or hoping somebody let you move in, which or whatever, you know. So it's just a lot of confusion and crazy stuff in that way. Well, you know, if you ain't you ain't ready, man, it's just what it is you know so so just stay tuned and if you have any questions about the segment or anything feel free to hit me up as long as it's respectful thank y'all till next time